how to cop on the Nike sneakers app. In this video, I'm gonna help you guys with the best tips and tricks on how to cop on the Nike sneakers app. If you guys find this video useful, hitting that like button really helps the channel grow. It pushes this video out to more sneakerheads so more people will know how to cop on the Nike sneakers app. Now let's get to it. Let me show you guys these best tips and tricks on how to cop on the Nike sneakers app for retail. How to cop on the Nike sneakers app here in 2024, the best tips and tricks, how to see the bottom screen more often. Everything I'm about to tell you guys is things that you guys want to be doing before release as well as actively doing each and every day. So let's go ahead and get started. Now before release, this is what you want to do. First and foremost, make sure your app is up to date. So go to the App Store, go to the Google Play Store on your phone, make sure your Nike sneakers app is up to date. It'll say open, go ahead and open up the app. Now the app is open, you're good to go, it's up to date 100%. The next thing you're gonna wanna do before a release is basically close out all of your apps. Force close every single app that you have open, and trust me, you have a lot of them open. If you do have them open, you don't want any memory being used, you don't want any data going to any other app than the Nike sneakers app when you're going for a release. So about 15 minutes before, 10 to 15 minutes before, I recommend doing this so that all these apps that you have open are all force closed. As you guys can see, you have a lot. You probably have a lot. So close out every single app and make sure that the only app open from this point forward, that's right, is the Nike sneakers app. Now, as far as restarting your phone, you can restart your phone if you want to. I've done it. I've also not done it and I've copped. So if you wanna restart your phone, you can. I'm not gonna restart the phone right now, but if you want to, 10 to 15 minutes before, restart your phone and do everything else I just showed you. Now, before a release, you wanna have some things in order. First and foremost, of course, your size, your payment information, everything up to date. The size is a big deal. Why? Because it automatically will have your size in there when you're going for a release as well as your payment information make sure everything is up to date your address phone number credit card everything but here's a thing here's a secret i recommend using apple pay or paypal and here's why you want to make sure that nike doesn't think or suspect that you're a bot you do not want nike to think that you're a bot if you do your account will be banned so you want to make sure that nike does not think you're a bot how can you do that with everything else I'm about to tell you, keep watching. It's giveaway time. I'm giving away a pair of Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines to one of my subscribers, you guys watching this video. To enter this free sneaker giveaway, all you guys need to do is smash that like button. Make sure you guys get this video up to 500 likes. That would be amazing. It'll help the channel grow and it'll show this video to more people. So make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Let me know what size you are in the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined. Take a picture, take a screenshot, DM me on Instagram, DannyMoore2369. Send me proof that you guys subscribed here to my YouTube channel. Smash that subscribe button and DM me proof. Good luck on the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine giveaway. This giveaway ends at the end of this month. The giveaway winner will be announced in a YouTube video the beginning of next month, so make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in on a free pair of Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. And don't worry, if you miss out on this giveaway, I will be giving away more pairs, as well as the upcoming Jordan 4 Military Blue. Good luck on this free sneaker giveaway, and if you guys are new to the channel, I do monthly sneaker giveaways here on the channel, so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys love sneakers. So you have all your information in there saved as well. Make sure you also turn on Face ID, or if you have an older phone, your thumbprint. Why? Because, here's why, you do not want Nike thinking you're a bot. Listen, hear me out for a second. It's a lot easier, right, for bots to type in a password than it is to face detect. See what I'm saying? So, trust me, make sure you guys are using face detection, if not your thumbprint, when you're actually going for the entry because you do have to use either one to submit payment. Make sure that you're doing that. I don't recommend password because, like I said, bots can type a password. Face detection? See what I mean? Now that goes back to what I was just saying about Apple Pay or PayPal. See what I mean? Apple Pay. Bots can use credit cards all day, every day. 
PayPal as well. Better off with Apple Pay if you have an iPhone. If not Android, you do have to, of course, use credit card or PayPal. Either one will be fine, any payment method, but make sure that you're manually typing everything in. Do not, I repeat, do not copy and paste anything. Make sure you're typing everything in. You don't want Nike to think that you're a bot. Now, let's talk about multiple accounts because this is a question I get a lot on Instagram. Multiple accounts. How can you create multiple accounts? What does multiple accounts even do? Will it work? Here's the truth about multiple accounts. Yes, it will work. Why? Because that's what bots are actually doing. Bots are not going in the back end and securing a guaranteed W. Bots are basically just saying, hey, with a few clicks of some buttons and a lot of processing time before on the back end, before the shoes even drop or anything, they have a lot to do. But with, you know, some clicks during the drop, they're able to enter 500 accounts, 1,000 accounts, while us, you know, individuals, we only have, what, one, maybe two, three accounts? That's why you see bots successfully hitting so often because, well, they have so many entries. When you submit 500 entries and you're able to cop 15 pairs, it looks like you copped a lot, but look how many entries you entered compared to the average person. So, for multiple accounts, yes, I do recommend multiple accounts. Here's what I do and what I recommend. First and foremost, do not log in and log out, log in, log out the Nike Sneakers app. Don't be doing that because why? Well, Nike knows your IP and all that. Don't be doing that. So here's what I recommend. First and foremost, have multiple accounts. When you create these multiple accounts, you need to first and foremost, different information across the board. How can you do this when you want the pair to actually come to you? Well, if you live in a house, put apartment, side door for the address. Even though there is no side door or apartment, it's gonna go to your house. It's just tricking the system on Nike's back end. Now, phone numbers, this is a big deal. You're gonna have to ask people for their phone number. Friends, family, get people's phone numbers because it's all about the phone number and you're gonna have to update it. I believe it's once a year, something like that. So keep that in mind. You're gonna have to keep up with these accounts every so often and have to, you know, submit the phone number and get the code. So these phone numbers are a big deal. And when it comes to your name, listen, my name is Daniel. You can make it Dan, Danny, uh, add an extra Y at the end. More, right? My last name, put an extra E. There's so many other ways you guys can do it. You guys see what I'm saying, right? You're good to go. Now the payment information, you're going to wanna make sure that each account has its own separate payment method. Why? Because you don't want Nike realizing that you have four accounts with the same payment information. No, you don't want them realizing. So each account, try to have separate payment information. This can be a hassle, I know, but this is why I recommend doing Apple Pay on one. You could do PayPal on another, credit card on another, a different card, a different Apple Pay. You see what I'm saying? You guys can work around that and create these multiple accounts. I do recommend it. Now, here's the thing. When you're entering from these multiple accounts, Wi-Fi can only be on one. That's pretty much it. Everything else, you're gonna have to run off LTE data. You do not want Wi-Fi on all of your accounts because they're tracking your IP and you're not gonna cop. They're gonna think you're a bot once again. So please, make sure that you guys have all different, you know, information on every account, credit card info, everything's different across each account in a unique way, like I said. And make sure, of course, I cannot stress this part enough, please, do not have Wi-Fi on every single device you're doing, every account, all of that. Do not have Wi-Fi on everything. They're going to think you're a bot right away. Now, when you're going for a drop, I told you guys, don't be signing in and out accounts on the same device. Don't be doing that. Here's what you can do. First of all, desktop, nike.com slash launch. It doesn't work on every release for some reason. For a normal most releases, it will be on there and you can enter from that way as well. Now, here's the best tip and trick that I think is what's actually going to secure your W's on the Nike Sneakers app. Let's head on to the app and I'm going to show you guys what to do each and every day. Yes, I mean each and every day. The more you do what I'm about to show you, the higher chance of you taking those W's. Let me get a little bit closer for this. So here's what we're gonna do. You guys can see we're gonna scroll up and down. We have shoes and we have a bunch of product, right? Everything's here. You have the in stock, upcoming. Let's go back to the feed. This is what's important. You ready? What I'm about to show you guys and tell you guys in a moment. So first up, we're gonna find what we're looking for right here, a story. Click on it. 
you're going to basically scroll this. I recommend staying on this for about 10, 15 seconds. Give it a few scrolls. Cool. We're good to go just like that. Next up, we're going to scroll down more. We're going to look for some videos. Here we go. Perfect. One I haven't watched. We're going to watch this all the way through. Watch this all the way through. And if you want, you can click and go back. Now, what are you doing with doing all this? You're showing Nike, hey, Nike, I'm a real person. I'm not a bot. I'm a real person, Nike. I'm not a bot. I'm on your app when there's nothing going on, Nike. Go ahead and do that. You're going to build up activity on your Nike sneakers app each and every day. The more you do this, the better. Simple as that. The more you do this, the better. Each and every day, go on your app and do it. It's worth it. You are bound to hit. When Nike does their live streams, you don't have to watch every live stream. You don't have to be on it for long. Just click on the live stream. Now, this next tip, I think people, for some reason, just don't care. They overlook this like crazy. Stop going for every damn release. I'm going to say it. I'm sorry to curse and yell at you. Guys, I cannot stress it enough. Do not go for every single release. Stop the madness. Why? Because Nike knows that, A, you're not buying all of this. B, you ain't wearing all this. And C, you ain't spending all this money, bro, like that. Come on now. They know that you ain't going for every single release that they drop. Be realistic. Be picky and choosy. My account is more blessed on Jordan 1s, 4s, and Dunks than pretty much anything else. And collaborations as well. I hope I just helped you out. If I did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Good luck on your next release on the Nike Sneakers app. Drop a comment. Let me know what release are you going for next on the Nike Sneakers app.